How are you all? I'm also good. Now it's time for the next session of chapter 3 being safe. Do you remember what you have learned in the last video? Very good. Now let's revise it once. We learned in the previous video about how to prevent yourself from getting hurt at home by following some set of rules and also how to be safe at school by following some simple rules. Now it's time for some safety rules that you have to follow when you are on the road. The first one, we should always cross the road with an elder. Why? Because there are many vehicles on the road. Do you know about it? Yes, right. There are trucks, buses, cars. And it's not safe at all for us to cross the road alone. So, we should always cross the road with an elder. Even not with a friend of your age. Okay? Second, we should always follow traffic rules. Why? Because the traffic rules are made for our safety. And our safety is our life. Now the third one. We should look to the right, then left and again right before crossing a road. And you know students, why do we have to do this? To make sure that there is no vehicle passing by on the road and the road is safe for us to cross. This thing should pop up in your mind first that is the road safe now for me? Then only you can cross the road. Now the next one. We should not throw fruit peels and garbage on the road. You know students, it is also not a nice habit to um, to throw waste everywhere, hmm? to throw papers, garbage everywhere. So, we should not throw fruit peels and garbage on the road. Why? Because it can cause us to lose our balance while walking, which can result in a very serious accident. Now the next one, we should never ride a bicycle on the main road. We should always keep to the left side of the road while cycling. We must always wear a helmet when we are riding a bicycle. Now you must be thinking, why we should never ride a bicycle on the main road? Hmm? We enjoy doing it. No students. It is very much unsafe to ride a bicycle on the main road. Because the main road is not meant for it. You are kids and kids are not allowed to ride anything on the main road. It is very dangerous for them. And you should always keep to the left side of the road while cycling. Why? Because it is the right direction of driving as per the safety rules. We must always wear a helmet when we are riding a bicycle. So what does a helmet do? It protects our head from getting injured, from getting a big injury. So that's why we must not forget to wear a helmet. And the last one. We should never take out our hands or head out of the windows of the school bus or car. I have seen many kids doing this thing, but you should never do it because just for a minute enjoyment, you not only can get injured, but also can douse your parents in tears. So we should never take out our, our hands or head out of the windows of the school bus or car or any other vehicle. Now some safety rules that you have to follow when you are 
at a public place. Let's imagine that you are at a park. So what are the rules that you have to follow? First, we should not push others while playing. Second, we should not go near beehives. Third, we should not play in lonely or quiet corners of a park. It's not safe. Fourth, we should stay away from bushes. What are bushes? A shrub or clump of shrubs with stems of moderate length. Fifth, we should not talk to strangers in a park or accept something from an unknown person. Now students, imagine that you are at a swimming pool. So what are the rules that you have to follow there? First, we should enter a swimming pool only when there is an elder, lifeguard or a trainer around us. So who is a lifeguard? Do you know? Well, let me tell you. A person on a beach or at a swimming pool whose job is to make certain that the swimmers are safe and save them if they are in danger. Second, we should always use our safety tube, flippers and underwater goggles. So what are flippers? A flat rubber attachment worn on the foot for underwater swimming, commonly known as duck feet. Now third one, we should keep away from a pool's drain pipes and other openings to avoid getting stuck. Students, today's lesson is done. Hope you all understood it well. Thank you and take care.